The following program is brought to you by our Patreon supporters. For as low as a dollar a month, you can get episodes of Journey of Wrestling a week early and more. You too would become cool, just like... Rob, Passion Killer 7-Eleven, a guy from Ohio, Strucity KTL, DG, and I think on the tip of your tongue. Nice, all right. Uh, it's wrestling time. Time to wrestle. I am Eric J. Checky. This is the boy. Hey. Um, just to give you guys the uh, rundown of what's going on here in case you skip the draft for whatever reason, this is probably the only time we're going to go through the whole shebang again. But uh, we are finally doing versus mode, nerd v nerd. Um, the stakes are we are doing definitely one more season of this because it's so short. Uh, five nightmare draft picks next season. That means the winner gets to pick five draft picks for the loser. Uh, the goal is to have more fans, higher buy rates, whatever. By the end of the six months, we're doing six months. We're no, doing, we're doing one year because we're, we're doing, doing shorter pay per view cycles. Yes. Uh, it's two shows and a pay-per-view. You'll get two pay-per-views this episode because that's how Journey of Wrestling works. Um, and that matters on the final fan count and stuff, not just the pay-per-view buy rates. We'll go to the graph. Uh, we already did the draft. We don't need to worry about those rules. We're going to have six minutes to book. That starts when the actual booking begins. We can do bookkeeping around that. Um, and uh, I am driving because that would just be too complicated to set up. So boy has a bullshit clause uh, where he gets an extra 30 seconds if he notices me, you know, complaining about using my meat hands and stuff too much. Um, we are in sandbox mode. We have maximum staff and facilities and the highest roster capacity just for convenience. There's no other things ticked on there. Uh, and we are allowed to do sabotage attempts like pissing off each other's wrestlers by trying to buy them out from under one another. But we can't exploit glitches like vacating titles for no reason. And I think that's everything, isn't it? I believe that is everything. All right. Do you want to check your mail, or are you just going to dive in? No, let's it? check the mail oh, first. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, let's see. All right. So my goals for the year are: I need to win the event of the year. Ugh. Make Booker T a main eventer. Done. Solid. Cool. All right. That's the only one I care about. Um, because so long as I can hit one, I'm not getting a negative. So whatever. Uh, following superstars. Paul Orndorff, Ric Flair, and the great uh, Kabuki are thinking about retiring, and half my roster's going part-time. That all happens at the end of the year. I don't care. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, companies, that's good Good for you, bud. Um, <laughs> we, we did also, and these are just people telling you who's who. Uh, I, 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 I don't care even a whit about no, any of the names of the staff members. all that. Um, You're all already trained up, so I don't have to use you except to boost my own stuff. You have a training roster call-up available. Oh, nice. You I get extra people. Hawk Bradshaw here. Ooh, I could call up Bradshaw. I have Ron Simmons. Mm -hmm. He's a 2-2 ring general, natural charisma, stiff worker, leader, and tag team specialist. Nice. Got the Hardy Boys, 2-1s. No. Okay. And the Headbangers, nope. also 2-1s. Sounds like I'm getting Bradshaw. All right. We Bradshaw might have another tag is. team in the offing soon called up to the main roster i'm sure he'll go he'll do whatever he needs up. to do whatever is there anything you need to do before we head over to the book and we start paying attention uh, to i that believe time? i did all of my pre-game stuff pre-game so i think i'm good to go do you have the timer ready uh yeah it's it's on obs oh you're just gonna use the straight up obs timer smart yeah uh, i have a separate timer i'm gonna run so i don't have to think about it um <laughs> all right uh, if you will go to the book. Okay, that is actually another built-in benefit of me driving, is that because we both have to pay attention when you're booking, you might get a little extra time anyway. So, uh, right, to the book. Here we go. All right, so first match is WWF World Championship. I want to book Hogan Flair, if you would, please. Uh, oh. Great. Uh, and then next up is the Intercontinental Championship. Give me KG Muto versus Bret Hart. Excellent. Uh, then I have to do the tag team match, if you don't mind. World Tag Team Championships, great. Give me proper villains versus uh, Team Extreme, I believe, are faces. Yes, that'll do just fine. Uh, now, if I believe that is all my titles. I only have mm -hmm. three because I killed the fourth one. Um, that is fine. Okay, so now if you will go to the WWF World Heavyweight Tag Team Championship, add a feud for me. Great. Uh, we're going to be doing nothing but fill a feud this whole run. Okay. Uh, if you will click refresh. Actually, that's fine. Grudge is fine. Click go. Um, Intercontinental Championship, add a feud for me. Great. Hit refresh on the fill a feud. Yeah, that's great. Uh, World Heavyweight Championship, uh, if you will add a feud for me. 
Refresh on me that? Uh, no. Uh, no. Almost, but no. Yes, perfect. Uh, all right, and now I need uh, to add a segment, if you wouldn't mind. Yep. Uh, I want you to scroll all the way to the bottom, I believe is where it'll be by default. No, okay. Um, then you're going to have to use your meat hands, my apologies. How shall recap? Yes, how shall recap. Uh, go to singles talent for me. Uh, grab the bottom talent on the card. It is eight people. Fill this segment up for me. Oh, you do already have Bradshaw. Yes. Perfect. All right, hit book. All right, and then if you will, I want maybe, yes. Um, book me, let's go with a promo. Yes, um, promo battle. Promo battle. Yes. Uh, the other two tag teams, please. Uh, feeling Consortium and Brick Sharks? Yes. Okay. And great. If you will add a feud for them, please. Uh, hit refresh. Yes, perfect. Um, and um, how much time do I have left? You've got about three minutes. Cool. Uh, not to get too precious about it, then. I want another singles match on this card. Uh, go to singles. Um, go to sort by work rate. Uh, grab Jushin Liger and Booker T. They're going to wrestle. Great. Uh, that's the card. Uh, you can hit play. You don't want any of the other stuff? Um, not for now. Okay. So, uh, story is, timer's yeah. done. Timer's done. Yeah, this is where we flesh it out and make it interesting. Yep. And you do have to have stories. That is part of the contingent. Otherwise, you're just going to mechanically beat my ass. Yes. All right, so this is our opener. It's actually a dark match um, for In Your House triple header to get the fans excited. Uh, I don't care who wins, so hit simulate. What does that mean, In Your House triple header? Uh, it is the dumb name that the previous management made for all my pay-per-views. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to try and make those make sense. All right. So the dirt cheats are going to complain about that. Absolutely. That's going to dock you 50 uh, DKP. So, uh, promo battle. Uh, Bull Nakano is convinced her hairdo is fucking amazing. Uh, and she's starting static about it with everyone. The Feline Consortium does not care. But they are, they are tired of hearing her talk about it all the time. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, uh, next up, please. Uh, this is literally just what it says. You're going to see a lot of this. The WWF, <laughs> in my universe, puts a lot of emphasis on house shows, on seeing a live event. You could see a live event. You could come. Please buy tickets. We do need money. And uh, this is a bunch of matches that happen in house shows, various other roundups from what happened at the WWF live events since the last time you, we broadcasted. You're going to see that every week. <laughs> cool. Uh, next up. Uh, this is a this is a grudge carried over from the indies. Uh, the proper villains are um, hard-hitting uh, veterans, uh, shoot-style wrestler, and William Regal, who is notably not a soft man. They detest the Team Extreme for the reason most... Love this type of heel test, detest these people. You are garbage wrestlers. You are untalented. Get out. They win. Okay. Um, <laughs> because they're right? Because, not because they're right, because I like them better. Oh, okay. They have backstage, they have a little backstage uh, pull with the brass. Uh, Team Extreme is, is uh, bitter at them for, for seeming to be the chosen ones. Okay. Uh, next up. Uh, we have the Backstage Heat. Uh, this is Bret Hart. Bret Hart has Backstage Heat with, Ka with Keiji Muto because Bret Hart has Backstage Heat with everyone. He's a prick. Um, <laughs> Muto's going to beat the ever-loving breaks off him. All right, break beating Muto. Uh, Good perfect. psychology. Uh, yes, of course, he's a prick, but he wrestles very well. Okay. Uh, all right, next up, our main event, the Heavyweight Championship, God Hates You. Uh, this is fully... Uh, Hulk Hogan is the face because he's Hulk Hogan and he's over his balls. But he's wrong. He's being a religious asshole. Like he was sometimes, 
when he talked about like when he talked about how people are living the wrong life and they need to get right and they need to say their prayers. Remember those promos? Remember how much they made you think of him as kind of a dickhead? He's doing one of those against the uh, kiss stealing, wheeling dealing, jet flying, limousine riding, cocaine doing Ric Flair. Uh, Ric Flair's gonna win. Ric Flair is gonna be my inaugural WWF champion. All right, there you go. Uh, that is my card. That is my show. That is your card and your show. So you're sitting at a... Oh, I got to delete data on the cloud save if I want to save that to the cloud. We'll manage that later. Just expect to see that alert Until we times. For this episode, yeah. basically. 137 bucks. That's a four and a half star show. That is not bad, my friend. Not a bad not start. Bad. Not a bad start. I'm very happy. All right. We're very pleased. Uh, I'm going to look at my own emails here. Um, let's get rid of this crap. So we also evened out the shows, the, the companies. They yeah, we're starting at a dead heat, fans-wise, because that's the only way to be fair. Kevin Sullivan's thinking about retiring. I'm okay with that. DDP, Savage, Rick Martell, Tony Atlas, and Greg Valentine are all thinking about going part-time. Okay. Uh, I have one extra email because I do have Kevin Sullivan's six appearances. I don't hate that. Uh, because we have the guaranteed appearances facility. Minimum of five. So he took one over the max, or the one over the minimum, rather. Um, oh, come on, Ted. Where did I set my pencil? Here we go. Some fun sound effects from my desk for you guys. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think is on my desk that made all those noises. So i got to create one new title. You're going to have so many more championships than me? Uh, make Shawn Michaels a face of the company. That should be fine. HBK face of the company. I'll do my best. Um... All right, cool. Uh, not that I think that's really going to matter, but... Uh, they're free points. Yeah, that's fair. Um, if we were doing a multi-year uh, thing, that would be a problem. Would matter more. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Uh, are you ready to uh, ch check the time on my fall brawl? I am ready when you are. All right, got to vamp a little bit, too, because I'm going to be in booking mode. That's fine. Okay. And I have to tell you stuff. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that is the, the content there. Yeah. All right. Here we go. All right. So we're going to start with the WCW World Heavyweight Championship doing Shawn Michaels versus Randy Savage. That's a good match. Uh, yeah, that sounds fine. Nice. Greatest weather, greatest wrestler for the, for the feud. Nice. I'm basically just going to be reciting what he's doing for those of you who like to listen. Um, oh, we're starting... With a dangerous attack segment, we're adding a producer focus. Perfect. Okay. A st a John Shawn Michaels is gonna take Sting out, everybody, or he's gonna t or Sting's gonna take Shawn Michaels out, ruin the main event. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Roadhogs versus Hammer Enforcement. All right, nice, nice, nice. That's a, mm, a little bit of a lineman problem I, I there, brother. I don't know why. I'm not sure why. Roadhogs That's too bad. are baby faces. Uh, this is, what did I click? Cruiserweight title. That's, I uh, got a big old roster. Nice. Uh, good. Eddie, Eddie and Too Cold Scorpio. I, you know, I'm saying, I'm sitting here, I'm reading all this stuff out as he's doing it, but he's going to be explaining the show as he goes when he's actually doing the show. So I don't know if that's necessary. So I think I'm going to take this time to talk to you. The, the audience. The viewer. The listener of old. What brought you here? What 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 made you want to do this? What made what made you want to make us enemies? My 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 compatriot here and I we're we're ancient best friends of yore. Uh, so competition like this it's not really not really something we do a lot these days. And I wonder what about our content made you want that? Say, tell me in the comments. What what brings this? What what brings you joy? What makes this good? What am I doing on time? Oh, you have four minutes to go. You have been very very fast. Okie dokie. Um, let's do that. 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 Uh, that. That. No. Uh, that. That. No. Ooh, I see. White Raven has done a canny play and taken my custom uh, segment idea and made his own custom segment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, yes, I did. 
Um, we do merchandising over here at WCW. Uh, okay, I need to do that. Oh, my producer's not level three. Fuck you. Yeah, gotta grind up those producers. All right. They're unlikely to make level three in the time we have, to be honest. That's fine. Um, how am I on time? Uh, you are at three minutes, basically. Oh, cool. We're doing good. Okay. Um, what, I have seven seconds left? Cool. Uh, these guys are heels, I believe. Let's get them. Yeah, Roadhog, Tamer Enforcement. I don't know why there's a thing there. Weird. Uh, let's do Just Business. And, you know... He's doing. He's he's well rapid. I'm actually glad I get a little bit of a bullshit rule because I did not anticipate how much extra time is going to be filled by just the talking, by just uh, you know having to explain to him what I want done. It does take up time. It does take up that time. Um. Yeah, we'll call it a friendly contest. That's fine. I've got to do that. He's, I think he's going for the play where he wants to get almost all his, as many of his roster as he can onto his pay-per-view. It's a good play. It prevents people from getting uh, stale. It prevents people from losing overness. Uh, I wanted to get the first show out the gate um, clean with a smaller number of segments to limit the number of dice rolls that I'm rolling. That is a risk. Um, okay, uh, I think I'm actually good. All right, you were at 422. 422, you know, let me book one more thing. Can I get a baby face Rick Steiner's book? That's fine. Okay, um... And stop the clock. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna leisurely... We're gonna do the thing yeah, you I got, like to do. You, you, you gotta, he's gotta. I he's gotta, gotta, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta. It's he is compelled. My, my life. Even when it's, even when it's vicious competition... He's got to sort. He's got to yeah. sort his stuff. All right. That's good enough for me. All right. I'm ready to play. Excellent. Oh, 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 oh. No, I don't want to skip my training roster call up. Oh, uh, well, well, you got four. You got a minute two, to two, do it. Two, one, two, two. Looks like I want Leilani Kai. There you go. Um. Okay. And play. There we go. Playing the event, and you came in well under time. Yeah. All right. All right explain the show to me. All right. Well, um, it's WCW. Uh, we did a lot of dark matches back then. Um, we did a lot of pre-recording back then. The live audience would see. Not typically on the pay-per-view, but I'm an innovator. What can I say? Now, who doesn't want to see Owen Hart versus Rick Steiner? These are two incredible technical wrestlers. Um, I meant to give these guys gimmicks, but I didn't realize that if you put the name in and then click the things. It clears it, the name. It clears the name, yeah. So Owen's supposed to be the black heart. Rick Steiner's supposed to be the dog face gremlin. It is what it is. Uh, Owen's going to go over here because he's the better wrestler. Also, Rick Steiner's in a tag team. So that's Ooh, the, the, the two gimmicks did work. The two mm -hmm. gimmicks worked out. Uh, we're trying to get Renegade over. This is my pet project. Oh, good. It worked well. He's got a good gimmick. They like the Renegade. Uh, Razor Ramon and Yuji Nagata have a feud. It's just a friendly contest. They're both faces, even though Razor's the bad guy. Interesting. There was a long period of time, basically when he started wearing very bright purple, where he was a face. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is just two guys who keep one-upping each other. Uh, behind the scenes, I want to put Yuji Nagata over. I want to get him up the card some. And who's going to help me with that more than a giving veteran like Razor Ramon? 36, he's basically almost dead. So let's go ahead and start off with Yuji getting a win. This kind of gets under Razor's skin. Maybe we'll see a hill turn later. Who knows? Nice, good starter feud. Uh, Sid Vicious versus Sandman. These are two marquee names, okay? If you guys are fans of the WWF, and he was in WCW before as well, you know Sid Vicious. He's awesome. Sandman coming in from that ECW. What a great guy as well. People are excited to see them fight. Um, I think I'm going to cement Sandman's overness here. I want to keep him hot. So we're going to have Sandman with the victory. Lesser, lesser match. Didn't work out so well, but you know. It's all right. Th them's the breaks. The larger, the longer, the larger match count. Ooh. Yeah, my merchandising did not. Merchandising, work. merchandising. Did People not. do not like being shilled to, it seems. I guess not, but that's okay. That's okay. Um... 
All right, this is a tag team contendership match. Uh, this is Just Business, which is Michael Wall Street and Glenn Locke, uh, better known as Isaac Yankum DDS. Following his release from the WWF and joining WCW, he went with a gimmick he was more fond of. The Libertarian. Glenlock. Uh, the arc is Kenta Kobashi and Mitsu Harumisawa. Um, it's a play on Pro Wrestling Noah. Um, so uh, the arc is winning. They are the new number one contenders for the tag team titles, whoever that team may be. Uh, this is just going to be incredible. Uh, yeah, this here. is Kawada versus Cactus Jack in a street fight. Murder. Murder um, is the answer. I think Kawada needs that heat, my guy. What is going on? Your overness is forty six. Um. Yeah, you yeah. got you got what you go, got. I'm gonna go with Kawada. Okay. Not a bad call. Not a bad call. All right, here I we go. It. Shawn Michaels, Sting, and Randy Savage are scheduled to be in a triple threat match for the WCW World Championship. Shawn Michaels does not want to be in a world where he's not part of the decision. And he also thinks his biggest competition is this young up-and-comer Sting, not a guy who is almost over the hill considering part-timesmanship like Randy Savage. So HBK takes out the Stinger. Sting's not going to be available for a couple months. Yeah, two months. Uh, Tony Atlas and Jeff Jarrett, real patriots fighting over the United States Championship. We're going to go with the Jeff Jarrett victory. Nice. Not a great match. Not That's a great okay. Match. We'll figure it out, though. Uh, Eddie Guerrero and Two Cold Scorpio. Um, just trying to see who's the better wrestler over the Cruiserweight Championship. Uh, and that's going to be Eddie with the victory here. But things aren't over. Bad conditioning. Guys, get conditioned better. I'm getting all of the bad dice rolls. This is what happens when you have more dice rolls. You're a bad dice roll. Every, every attempt, every shot is a potential bad shot. All right. Roadhogs. Um, John Tenta and Scott Norton versus Hammer Enforcement, Arn Anderson and Greg Valentine. Uh, they're part of the uh, Million Dollar Mafia managed by Ted DiBiase. We're going to go with Hammer Enforcement. Hey, that brought us back up. Hot match. Interesting story. It's because John Tenta is a good pair of hands. All right, got a main event package. Things have changed. We yeah, have to they, update they, the fans. They, 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 your announcer is having to update live, I guess. Yeah. Hey, yeah. the people like it. They're excited. All right, we got Macho Man Randy Savage, 42. Man, what an old timer. Shawn Michaels, only 30, and our new WCW champion. Ooh, and uh, that is a oh, is that a five and a quarter? Five and a guy. quarter, five and a quarter. Melts broke his scale this early. Mm -hmm. Digital melts. What are you doing? Uh, it looks like a four and a half star show. 137 bucks. I think bucks. you edged me out very slightly. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. Um, let's treat my fight match effect increase. Got a got a boost there for Kawada bleeding. All right. Uh, yeah, fall yeah, pro. Yeah. All By right. a lot, actually. Not bad. Almost 9,000. See, I'm being weighed down by the need to tell coherent stories. <laughs> so am I, but mine is a compulsion, <laughs> not an obligation. All right. Uh, let's just this new champion stuff. Match of the year contender in Mudo versus Bret Hart. Uh, amazing match between Hogan and Flair. Wow, Roadhogs and Hammer Enforcement put on an all-time classic. Might be match of the year. And so was Savage versus Shawn Michaels. Interesting, interesting. All right, we're going to hit continue. Um, this is me. This is me, not you. Let's go back to you. All right. Uh, he wants to feud with Ricky Morton. Brother, you're a little busy being the tag champion right now. So can you do something else for me, maybe? Can't believe you're making him change his request, but okay. Yes, absolutely, we can do that, brother. All that right. is that is absolutely. I don't think you need it, but uh, sold. Hey, got one of my goals. Uh, can I check my mail, please? There's your reward, two hundred forty dollars. Nice. Uh, La Parca is interested. Don't care. Uh, and talk to both of your scouts about it. He Leparco wants in. He wants into the WWF. No. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, can you go to? I believe it is in roster overview. Go to William Regal for me. Mm. William Regal feels unconfident in his promos. We're gonna help him with that. You're gonna train charisma for me. Perfect. Yes. Um, 
Okay, cool. Um, now, if you will go to... I am not booking. I am using this as a way of seeing the roster better. Mm. If you will go to the book for me. I need to mm-hmm. find somebody who has a two-star charisma. Mm-hmm. I'm on to you. I swear it the other way because it's easier. Oh, yeah, because we don't... Have uh, Tommy Dreamer. Why not? Cool. Yeah. Go back to the roster for me. Um, I believe we have three trainers, do we not? Uh, I don't know. We're Train. gonna find out together. Training is charisma? Yep. You have two, two trainers. Two trainers. Two trainers, so I could buy another one. Cool. Uh, add for me? Um, great. Uh, can you go to, um, I think it's in company. No. Alright, where is this? Uh... Find the um, staff. There it is. And other. Yes, that's naturally where it would be. Uh, we're going to hire a producer. Uh, if you see a level 3 producer, hire them. Harry Bell. Sounds good. Or Grace Thompson. Cheaper. Ooh, cheaper. Cheaper wins. Thanks, Grace. You're hired. I want three of those. Um, okay. Good way to spend some of my bonus. Um, and I don't really feel like I need to train anybody else. I don't really want to spend the money on another trainer right now. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I really want to do at the moment. Uh, go to dashboard. Mm, we're all good there. Okay. <coughs> oh, I got another mail. Don't know why. Uh, that's probably your new hire. Yep. Ah, excellent. Okay. Uh, are you prepared to time my booking? Yeah, damn these eyes. Um... Well, we're going to give it a solid 15. That way it's easy to do math. Hold on one second. I'll start at the 30-minute mark. That's four minutes from now. Or, I'm sorry, 27 minutes. Excuse me. Okay. Gonna sit in silence. Uh, all right, so um, you're gonna go to. I have lots of segments. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna book a promo battle between Ric Flair and Hulk Hogan. Uh, you're going to book a fight between Keiji Muto and Bret Hart. Uh, scroll down. Uh, and cool. Go to tag. Mm, and hover over the proper villains for me. And Feline Consortium. Good. Okay, that's low fatigue. Uh, you're going to book a Four Corners tag match for me. That's going to be my main event. Uh, non-title. All four of these guys? Yep. Perfect. Remove titles. Excellent. All right. So now I'll uh, put on my... Um, Special segment, please. Okay. House show recap. Uh, once again, just pick the eight least over people on the roster. Perfect. Um, oh. Um, all right. Take that off. Uh, this is going to take a little bit more time. Uh, everybody who's not in... My hair is better. So if they're in either of those two teams, you want to go around them. I believe that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Cool. Now rebook that for me if you would. I don't want the uh, staleness on my feud. Okay. Um, that's fine. Uh, now, if you will do me a favor, scroll to Booker T. You said scroll. Okay, there he is. Yeah. Um, and then I want to give him some time. I don't have day in the life, so this can just be a spirited promo. Good. I want some more wrestling on the card. Uh, so if you will take match, uh, give me three work rate people. Uh, and then, okay, so we're going to book... Chris Jericho versus Akira Nogami. Uh, and they're both faces? Yes. Uh, no, no, Jericho's here. Then that's perfect as is. Uh, we're going to book uh, Bradshaw 
versus Ron Simmons. He might be somewhere else. Oh, okay. I was going to say, do you see him? Because I don't. Uh, yeah, just book that. Okay. Um, and I got, yeah, I got plenty of time. Add a few to that for me. Uh, you're going to type into this one. Um, I'm wasting time. Uh, fight charisma. They just they just fight well together. Uh, okay, and then I've got all my feuds on the card. I've got all that. I don't want to overbook my card, so I'm I think I'm good actually. And I don't care about the sorting, so we're all set. All right, I'm gonna hit the play button. Yeah, I don't think I'm missing anything. Okay. Um, actually, uh, add my pro producers just top down to the segments. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now I'm done. Okay. All right. Uh, Bradshaw versus Ron Simmons. This is um, what was intended to be a dark match, but uh, Raw actually starts with this match already in progress because it went so long. The uh, announcers catch us up. These guys are already in the midst of tearing the house down. Um, show me Bradshaw. Uh-huh. And show me Ron. Great. Uh, I want to get Ron over more so Ron Simmons wins. Perfect. All right. Great. Uh, then, if you will go to next. Uh, this is um, a match in the service of, like, the Intercontinental Title Division. Uh, it's not necessarily any particular story. It's just two guys trying to make a name for themselves in the WWF. Two guys trying to establish themselves as intercontinental contenders. They did a lot of that back in the 90s. It's an excuse for guys to wrestle. Um, <laughs> Exhibition matches, I think they called them. But, um... I, we, haven't really we haven't really given enough time for anyone to have any bad records or anything. So, I'll just scroll over them quickly to see who's... Uh-huh. And... Uh, they're roughly even, so either can win. Hit simulate. Great. Okay. Uh, booger. Now, that's fine. We're starting with a new thing, so that's that's fine. Okay. Um, then, house show recap. Perfect. Excellent. Wow. Gets everybody. Gets uh, Bradshaw over. So much better than merchandising. Uh, he was actually. Uh, he's in both, so he it's he did a good show at uh, at a dark match. Uh, this is just a fight. These guys have backstage heat. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, Bret Hart is so incensed about what he sees as a bullshit win that he just straight up attacks Mudo in the locker room. Okay. Doesn't go well for him, but he does. Uh, this is two men uh, with diametrically opposed um, points of view on life, yelling at each other for a long time. <laughs> Doesn't need to be anything else. Uh, and then the Four Corners tag team match. This is a non-title match. Uh, so if you will do me a favor and scroll over each team just briefly. I want to get their stats. Uh-huh. 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 Okay, Team Extreme needs the win after their loss, so they're going to take the win. We'll say they pin the Brick Sharks. Sounds good. Uh, for the benefit of the audience, uh, the Brick Sharks... Um, I will. I don't actually remember what who's in that team at the moment. It's uh, easier brick shirts. Yeah, it's uh, Bull Nakano and was that Shane Douglas? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What what is a brick shark? Who knows? Only they do. Bad main event. Not great. Yeah, it's rough. A little less than a four star show. Not a good start. See, he keeps saying he's gonna lose to me, but I uh, I think I know how this is gonna go. <laughs> I'm seeing the vibe. Yeah, we'll see as time goes on. We'll see who's... Because we're approaching this with different strategies and philosophies here. Uh, okay. Oh, 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 I got a boost. Ooh. Popular Magazine covered the Fed. We just got a boost. The just, Fed got uh, a boost. How much was that? Uh, 6%. Oh, that's a good boost to just randomly get. The UK Undertaker wants to sign from the mm. Indies. Interesting. 
Teddy Long, player. Teddy Long wants to be involved. Oh, we got a lovemaking segment. Man, you getting all the good dice rolls. Yeah, that's make, making up for the pay-per-view when I did not. Um, all right, I'm going to go to the indies. Um, UK Undertaker, he's in. Yeah, I can I can definitely get this part-timer. Or no, he's full-time. Why is he weird-colored? One work rate. He's not very good. He's got comedy chops. That's fine. Teddy Long, do I need another manager? Not one with two charisma. Sorry, Ted. Um, I feel like I should know that guy, but I don't. The Parker just wants to get hired somewhere. Uh, you can hire him. I could. I could. Hmm. That's a 3 2. That's mm -hmm. a good fella. I forget why I didn't hire him in the first place. I'm going to guess drug habit. <laughs> Maybe dangerous worker or Maybe. injury prone. Still, he's he's good to have while he's around, so I'm going to go ahead and schedule to recruit. Um, okay, sounds good to me. You know, I've got another one. Uh, we might as well look into oh, Mr. Perfect. Oh, he's injured. Um, don't want Scott because I, I've already set up a new tag team for his brother. 53 years old, four appearances. I don't think so. Uh, Jake, what was your deal? Also injured. You know what, though? By the time we get him in, that's not that long. So let's let's give it a shot. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to my own staff now uh, because I would also like another producer. Uh, I am left with the more expensive producer. Damn me for suggesting that. Um... I think I'm okay with everything else for now. We'll hire as needed, basically. Um, <coughs> that's a mail from my producer there. I think everything is set. I'm ready when you are. Okay. Um, yes, all right, let's head to the book. Oh, I gotta make another title. I don't wanna do that right now. You ready? Yep. Do you want to hit a round minute or... I use a timer. Okay. Kabimshki. All right. So, uh, we've got this. This can be a promo. Promo battle's fine. Um, we've got that. That should be a match. I don't think those guys should be tired. No, they're fine. Uh, not quite like a best of seven thing, but they are going to go back and forth like that. Um, this should also be a promo... Uh, so let's just have backstage confrontations always good. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's add a producer to it. It can be Harry. Uh, this as well. We're going to kick this off with a promo. I'm going to go ahead and add a producer to that as well. Um, split interview sounds good. Both of these guys still have, feel like they have a lot to prove and a lot of respect for one another. Um, okay, we have a match. Got to get the TV championship decided. But it goes on TV. I'm going to stick to that idea. Dan Severn. And uh, who's a face down here? You know, I hate to have Rick Steiner lose again. Uh, not the Renegade. John Tenta. Perfect. Uh, I don't know why there's an alignment boost there. Does somebody... He's a fate... John Tenta has natural heal? Are you shitting me? Oof. I disagree categorically. I mean, yeah. But whatever. Uh, I look to be... For the record, I also disagree. That's ridiculous. Um, that's fine, though. Uh, where's, where's my guy? Where's the renegade? Gotta get him over. Uh, bu, 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 bu. it's the production video package booked while we're here. Event package for Halloween Havoc. Okay, how am I doing on time? Uh, you are at 1 minute 59 seconds. Left? No, total. Okay, total. Um, let's go by fatigue. I don't want to overwork anyone. Uh, I think I'll switch to a timer instead of a stopwatch after this because that counts down. It's easier to tell him. I just, if it beeps in your ear, my apologies. 
<laughs> All right, let's get a win for uh, Just Business. Let's get them over a neutral team, a new batch. No, no, we can't do that. Um, I guess let's get the new batch a win. We'll get Just Business back. Um, oh, I almost forgot about my segment. Uh, gotta chase that merch. But uh, we're gonna go about it a different way. Who's top charisma here? Fantastic. Uh, gotta make sure I don't get anybody who's in the feud. Not Eddie then. Let's get Glenlock in there. That's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. If anyone's good at talking merchandise, it's the libertarian Glenlock. You know what? In that sense, let's go ahead and put him in there. All right, let's try the merchandising that way. Got two segments left. Uh, You're at three minutes elapsed. Okay, so I have three minutes left. Yep. Um. Going very promo heavy. I appreciate Oops. it. I yeah, well, you know, it's a it's a promo um, fed. Let's get the diamond dogs in there. Uh, they have comedy chops, right? No, but they got a bunch of charisma stuff. So let's just do a solo promo. Uh, let's do a heat promo, as they are heels, and get some more wrestling on this wrestling card. What do I have with high work right here? Uh, psh, 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 psh. We need to start a feud for the tag titles. That's right. Um, do so you remember who your contenders were? I do. Were? It's Hammer Enforcement versus The Ark. Um, this is not an Eliminator match. They already have their title set. But uh, it's just testing that out. Showing it off. Um, work rate. I'm sweating a little bit, man. Not just because the AC is off. Raven is going to take on... Who is a face? I think I need more faces. Sandman. Oh, this is going to be good. Raven versus Sandman. You love to see it. Uh, in a street fight. Ooh, we're, 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 pulling out the, we're pulling out the gimmick matches. Nope. Oh, I, I'm already booked up. Okay. Yeah, you're full. So that's fine. That's fine. We'll live it. Um, I got time to organize? You got one minute and 15 seconds. Okay, we've got time to organize then. Let's settle the TV championship in the main event. Uh, everything else is fine. All right. Here we go. And you made it in time. I'm sorry. You'll see. <laughs> All right. Heat promo for the Diamond Dogs. What's what? this, buddy? What did I do? What did I do? Oh, did I leave the titles on the line? You're going to find out. Uh, maybe I left the title on the line. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, what was the heat promo? It's the Diamond Dogs uh, razzing the... Hey! Your new methodology to get merchandising over. Smart move, getting merchandising over. Some merchandising can get people over. Yeah, you know, it's a good, yeah. Good, good shout, good it's shout. A, it's, it's two concepts shaking hands. Okay, all right. Just business in the new batch, that's fine. We are getting the new batch a win. Um, interesting story. Uh, Good show so far. Better than mine, overall stars wise. He's, he's oh, he's so smug right now. Got that? Yeah. Got that good video package the for the Renegade. For... Got that good split interview. Oh, it didn't Ooh, go well. Did real bad, real bad. It the, did. The producer even like tried to help. All right. Um, I don't. I don't know if this counts as psychological warfare or tip. I'm just gonna have Hammer Enforcement win here. I don't know why. I thought I removed this title. You didn't? That, that, I will let you know before you click the button. That is not what you did. Okay. Cool. I was pretty sure I removed that title. So the Ark gets a win to threaten the... You removed the title. You forgot to add a feud. Forgot to add a feud. That's fine. <laughs> I, I will live with that. <laughs> I can add a feud later. I don't want the title to change hands right now. I sweated him out a little bit. Oh, I'm going to be wow, real with yeah. you, Chief. I, I was messing with you, him a you little. Got, you got psychological. Uh, psych, I, psychological. I yeah. I, the Tell word me of the about day. Tony Atlas versus Jeff Jarrett. So it's about who's more American, right? And Jeff Jarrett's a shit heel. Uh, so he's dancing around everything you would dance around in 1996 from a Southern Je character. Jeff Jarrett's getting over, getting heat, brother. He's uh, getting he's, the heat. He's getting that heat. And Tony Atlas can read between the lines because he's not new. 
Um, so Tony Atlas is the virtuous one here, and Tony Atlas is the one who scares Jeff Jarrett off in this confrontation. It's a bad promo. It's a bad promo. Yeah, well, I mean, spicy material. you got to right. be a certain level of good to get it over. Yuji Nagata, yeah, you know the sponsors didn't like it, yeah, so they we didn't. got all those sponsors with the merchandising. I think Razor Ramon is going to get the win here to keep things even. Smart. Good, good booking. Cool. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me, man. <laughs> uh, Savage is is in peak Savage mode right now. Um, you know, you think you're smart getting rid of the competition like that? You forgot one thing: the cream uh, always <laughs> rises to uh. the top. And HBK is is undaunted by that, or so he says. Feels daunted to me. Uh, Dan Severn's going to get a win over heel for some reason, John Tenta. Natural. I'm so angry about that. Uh, that's fine, though. Uh, he is going to be our TV champion. Dan Severn and the TV title are going to get built up at the same time. Ooh, you know what? Uh, the, the Million Dollar Mafia really gathering up the gold. Yes, that was the plan. I want to put this... Because they're all a little lower on the card at this point in history. So, so you're I, putting I put them, them over, over. Yeah. To, to, to put the whole stable over. If I want to strap the titles to somebody that's not probably not going to drop them for a while, it should be people that I want to put over, not people that are already over, with the exception of Sean. That's the exact same decision I made with the proper villains. Uh, three and three quarter, thirds quarter stars. Better show than me this 35. week. I think you're going to win. Was it? I believe so. Was it a better show? Okay. I think it was a solid three and a half. Nope, I lost 900 fans. Not Ooh. by much did you beat me. Ooh, no, no, no. You still, uh, you know, I won, but it was very tight. Yeah, very tight, very tight. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh. Right. I'm One, so glad uh, you go first because I'm I'm schwitzing over here. He's, he's schwitzing. Uh, all right. In your house, Great White North. My fucking pay-per-view cycles in shambles, brother. <laughs> what am to, I doing? Going to Canada. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Yet. I'm not Start booking time, yet. Let's go. I'm not booking yet. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. I, we're mid pay per view cycle. I don't think there's anything I need to do. This is your go home show, man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what we're gonna do is, I mean, I'm. I think I'm just ready to book. You ready to book? I Let think me. I'm ready to book. Me hit you a timer. We'll go at 47:05. Let's go. Cool. Uh, first things first. Give me an event segment. We're gonna we're gonna book the break, the Great White North. Uh, cool. Uh, then give me. <coughs> Yeah, uh, we're going to debut this. Go ahead and go to singles. Click uh, Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, uh, KG Muta, and Bret Hart. Uh, go to scroll down to fight. And this is, uh, as seen on AEW television, chaos in the WWF locker room. <laughs> uh, then go to tag. Tag segment or tag Yeah, match? tag segment. Okay. Uh, and so I was looking at it like that helps you and <laughs> uh, click proper villains okay and team extreme they get this week's promo battle they get TV time okay great uh, now put on my uh, lot my house show recap please One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's them. Yep, good. Uh, oh, uh, oh. Yeah, take out the people in the team, please. If you I do this all the time when I'm booking myself, so. So, uh, Barry Window, Mikey Whipper. Not Shane Douglas. So, oh, I hate. Do you want a Tiger Mask or Shane? Uh, Tiger Mask, please. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Good. Oh, there it is. Uh, then give Booker T his spirited promo. We just building up Booker T, huh? That's one of my goals. It's free money. He's way down near the bottom. Excellent. All right. Now, let's get some wrestling on this wrestling card. Uh, give me three work rate talent, please. Uh, scroll down a bit. I want to get some people who I haven't seen on the card. Give me Alundra Blaze versus Lex Luger. I booked that. Uh, give me Marcella versus Mikey Whipwreck. Book it. 
Yeah. And give me, scroll down a little bit. Uh, Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff versus Rodney An Anawaii. Oh, yeah, we haven't seen Rodney yet. Yeah, no, we have not. Book that? Yes. Uh, okay. Oh, ugh, unbook that. I did not realize they were both heels. <laughs> or f uh, check, go over Rodney. Cool. Find me the nearest face. <laughs> Good. No, he's in a gimmick. Uh, next one. No. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Uh, all right. Uh, then uh, we're going to book another segment. Um, these are repeatable. I forget if it's repeatable. Well, I want to time-wise. Got about a minute. Uh, I think I've got all my feuds except uh, one. No, I've got two. All right, uh, click. As a... Yes. Okay. So Bull Nakano and Shane Douglas. Bull Nakano and Shane Douglas versus who's in the other team? Uh, Tiger Mask and. Cool. Click Bull Nakano, Tiger Mask, Ron Simmons, and uh, Bradshaw. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take the don't. We're fine on time here. Tiger. Ron. Brad. Perfect. And fight. Okay. This fight happens in a bar. <laughs> uh, anything else? Uh, no. That's all my feuds, so I'm good. Alright, I'm hitting the play button. Yep. Okay. I don't care to sort my shit. It's gonna be wacky. <coughs> oh, bad, bad roll. That's a risky run. These guys have lower charisma. Didn't have time to do the producers. Uh, that's just a bar, bar fight. I mean... It's Brad, Sean, Ron Simmons. What do you think I'm doing? It's Shinya Hashimoto. Uh, Shinya Hashimoto versus... Rodney's getting this win. We're rebuilding Rodney here. Okay. That's right. This is, for the casual observer, Yokozuna. Yeah. Oh, uh, wow. They love the gimmick. Yes. I'm. Uh, we're rebuilding him as he's, he's a Samoan. I let him grow out his beard. Got him some new gear. He's a Samoan. <laughs> All right. Marcella versus Mikey Whipwreck. Uh, these, these matches are all, um, exhibition matches to get, uh, to keep people interested in the go-home show. Yeah. Our story is the promos. Right. Uh, so in that case, uh, neither of these guys have a win record yet, so who's less over? Marcella. Marcella wins. Okay. Man, they hate this. This is, the, we, we, we're crashing and burning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, All right. Uh, London Blaze versus Lex Luger, same thing. This is just uh, an exhibition match, so... Who's less over? Lex by a point. Lex gets the win. Oof, this is, this is unex... This is bad. Uh, at least Booker T has a good promo. Booker T pulls it out there. How was that coconut loop? Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Bad nice. Uh, this is the promo battle... <sighs> Wow! Whoa. I got some bad dice rolls this time, Whoa, you guys. Hop oh, no, that's bad. These guys should be reliable, and it's just yeah. not working out. Mm. That is a sucky roll of dice. All right. This one, working out well, working out well. Cool. Okay. And then we close out with a with a big ad, please buy the pay-per-view. And everyone loves that for some reason. Sure. <laughs> These shows suck, but I can't wait for the Great White North. Oh, uh, that was a bad show. <clears throat> that was rough. Three and a half stars, though. Oof, Could be worse. not not a good show, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay. I don't think you got a hard week. I don't think you got a hard road to hoe on this one, my guy. All right. I'm gonna switch um, to a timer so I can tell you how much time is left easier. I appreciate that. Uh, so I need to check on Scott Norton here. I'm irritated because I spent the money to turn one of them face. But not the other? Well, no, the other one was fine. It's just that for whatever reason... Okay, he doesn't have natural face. What about DDP? Nothing natural there. And Johnny, where are you? Johnny be bad. Good. Okay, so we're just going to swap. Um, the Diamond Dogs... I'm turning them face. It was the 90s. You could just do this. 
Well, you can do I'm the good now. guy now. Okay. And Roadhogs are going heal. Okay. At least I can use my John Tenta again. Um, you got one show to Halloween Havoc. Yeah, I do. You booking Halloween Havoc, me booking In Your House, The Great White North. I'm on, I'm rooting for you. <laughs> right. Leilani Kai. I remember who this is. I really like Leilani Kai. Was she in Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling? She was like their big draw? I don't know, brother. I don't want to say that's who that was. It's not on my roster. I um, didn't look him up. <laughs> Patty Stone Grinder is her gimmick. Um, I'm not going to go through all of the, the nonsense right now. We'll leave her as she is. Um, but I do need another baby face. So I'll just I'll spend the extra money, change alignment. Here's hoping we, uh, we get something out of it. Some money. All right, I think I am ready to book if you are ready to receive. I am. Okay. Uh, we need to keep up the segments first. Let's get the important stuff out of the way. So uh, that was a promo battle last week. It's going to be a fight now. Yuji versus Razor. Let's cool them off. Let's try the split interview with them. Um, in fact, let's add a producer to that. Mr. Garrett. Uh, okay, let's do some production here. Let's do a video package for Renegade. Um, I think we're okay not to add a producer focus on that one. Uh, Eddie and Two Cold Scorpio, they did interviews last week. Let's remind them why Eddie and Two Cold Scorpio are good. They're wrestling. Two Cold Scorpio, Eddie Guerrero. Fatigue's at nothing, so this should be fine. Title not on the line. Um, okay, let's do tags. I got a train going in the background. I don't know if you can hear that. Demand title shot. We're going to do the arc versus hammer enforcement. Uh, just in case we don't get Ted DiBiase's bonus from that, we're going to put Doris on this one. Booking that. And we are adding a feud. That feud is new challenger. It doesn't matter. Um, and, uh, Tony Atlas versus Jeff Jarrett. Guys, you should be better at this. Um, okay, here's the situation. We have got, um, some good guys, some new good guys. You know what? Who did we just turn good guys? The Diamond Dogs. So we got Johnny B. Bad. We got Diamond Dallas Page. They are going to take... Tony Atlas's side against Jeff Jarrett uh, and kind of threaten him not to talk like that anymore. Uh, promo battle. Perfect. Okay. Need some more wrestling on the wrestling show. Um, we need a TV title defense. Dan Severn is a heel. We will put Dan Severn up against the newly faced Leilani Kai. Uh, okay. Is that all my feuds? Yes. Uh, last week, we were going to have Sandman versus Raven. There we go. In a street fight. Cool. Added that. And I'm going to do one more production segment. We're going to do a main event package. Uh, how am I doing on time? Uh, you were at 3 minutes, 34 seconds remaining. Okay. I got plenty of time, actually. Um, I'll go ahead and slap a producer on this, then. Uh, Mr. Garrett, busy already? Yeah, let's get Harry. Okay, main event package. Right here we go. Uh, this is going to be crazy. That can main event. World title will open. World TV title, rather. So many promos. <laughs> <coughs> um, yeah, honestly, that's probably fine. Uh, all right, I guess. Oh, no, I have two segments left. What am I doing? Uh, if that's all the time I've taken up. Hmm. Sid and Jack's a heel. Owen's a heel. Kawada. Kawada's not in a team, as you know. Okay. That's interesting. And we will do... Um, you know what? We've got this new team that's heels. The uh, Roadhogs. Uh, new batch just got a win. Yep, let's get the Roadhogs a win with their new persona. Uh, works for... Get down there. Get down there now. Okay. All right. Now I'm ready to go. All good? 
When you are. How much time do I have left? Two minutes, 13 seconds. We might be able to shave that down to five minutes. No, thank but, you. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, let's play this event. Here's <laughs> hoping I didn't forget anything again. Hey, that, that helped. That helped. I already explained that segment. So uh, Roadhogs are debuting that they're bad guys now because of really questionable John Tenta bookings. It's fine. The Ark demands a title shot. We kick off a feud. They like that. They like that there's a feud they for the like tag it. titles. Yeah. Also, my God. Ugh. What a match. What a match. What a match. What a, what a hard-hitting match. Uh, Dan Severn retains his title over Leilani Kai. Hey, it's not bad. Please like the Renegade. Thank you. They declared that they do. Uh, Eddie Guerrero and Two Cold Scorpio, better wrestler. Uh, let's get Scorpio the win here. No title on the line, right? Good, thank you. Oh, good. Okay, split interview went pretty well. Thank you. Probably mostly Razor. These guys are fighting backstage. You mess with the wrong guy. Oh man, he's blowing me out of the water here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this show is going ridiculously well. The master and ruler of the world is going to get a win over Toshiaki Kawada. Oh, that was maybe not the right call. <laughs> the, inter the internet came forth and destroyed you. Re Regreticus. <laughs> Little package for the main event, though. Hey, are you guys excited? Wow, 16 lightning bolts. That's pretty yeah, good. Dude, you really, you kicked my ass this week. Uh, Raven needs to debut strong. He's got Kevin Sullivan behind him. Come on. It was okay. <laughs> it was all right. Yeah, uh, ooh, feud got hot. Uh, I was just enjoying my, my content there. Four-star show. Yeah, this week I took it. Yeah, you took it by like a star, brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh! Oh, early lead. Early lead for me. Yeah, this is... Uh, like, people were like, uh, the boy's gonna destroy him. Nah, man, I can't engage full cheese strats. I'm, I'm, I'm hobbled. He's 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 better at actually telling stories than I am. I've known this the whole time. I, I feel like what's going to happen is you are going to pull ahead about four months in, and I'm never going to see you again. <laughs> this is my foolish, prophecy. Foolish. Uh, but, uh, do uh, I have mail? Let me. I got. I have a message about an artifact. Go away. I don't care about me right now. I don't have uh, mail. Where's you. the message? Uh, training. You can send someone to your training roster. I don't need to do that. Thank you, though. Okay. Well, you have one. <sighs> Time to book in your house the great white... I have you negative, negative one... one mail. Negative, negative one has one sent mail. you a mail before he's even born. Good. Uh, it's a message from the future. Your show sucked. <laughs> Please hire my dad. If he was around, I would have. Um... Well, that's not true. He's not over enough. Uh, <laughs> Ouch. At this point? It's just not. Sorry, I don't brother. think he's like he's 13. Like, he's like 12 yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, I don't really need to do anything. And it's the pay-per-view time. Yeah, it's in your house, Great White North. We're here. It's Canada. So, let's get to the book. So, um, there's something... You know, we didn't discuss this before, uh... These episodes are going to be long. It's just how it is. When the the future ones will be less long because we don't do two pay per views. Yes, and also as we get better at this, time will go a little faster. When Woods and uh, Breeze book their pay per views, they don't tend to have restrictions on time limits. Oh, am I allowed to to spread my wings a little do, bit? Do we want to make that gentleman's agreement right now? You know what? I think it makes better content. So yes. All right, fantastic, my friend. I, I feel like those. It's a good balancing act because it gives people who are feeling the time pressure time to recover. And I know you made me sweat my ass off, so I could use that. So if it's if you're, you're down with it, so am I. All right, let's head to the book then. Cool. Leisurely. Leisurely. A leisurely stroll put through the, the book. Put the timer away. Put the timer away. Don't so, think about how I'm beating your ass. Just destroying me. Don't Unbelievable. Think about it. Don't think about the state of your ass right now. It's destroyed. Gaping. It's destroyed. Like I'm obliterated. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, I mean, sadly, this does kind of book itself. Uh, click that button. You got it. Click book. Booked. Click that button. Got it. Click book. Booked. Scroll down. Okay. Click that button. Nice. Click book. Booked. Go to tag team. 
Tag match. Click that button. Got it. Click book. Got it. Click that button. Right. Click book. Done. Great. Uh, all right. Uh, and then go to segment. Go to spirited promo. Or actually singles, because you'll need to select them. Give Booker T his spirited promo. How is that book? Doing pretty good. Uh, huh. He going to grind that shit up to gold star. That's what he's going to do. Uh, <laughs> And then uh, give me my house show recap, please. Okie dokie. <clears throat> Spouse affair is just right there, begging to be used. Uh, um, everyone who's not in a feud, right? Yep. Would you rather have Shane or Tiger? Uh, Tiger. Tiger. Okay. Mikey. I just am more interested in getting him over, if I'm being honest. Seven and eight. Booked. Excellent. Uh, then... Give me <coughs> promo battle. Okay. And sort by charisma, if you would. Hmm, you got it. And taker. Uh, Akira Nagami is not in a feud, so him. Mm -hmm. uh, Brett Jericho is not in a feud. And Diesel's not in a feud. There we go. Hit book. This is our analyst desk. Um, okay. And I have a spot for one more pay-per-view on, or one more promo on this card. So we're going to have a fight. Okay. Um, who's fighting? Steve Austin. Uh, Alundra Blaze. Scroll down. Bradshaw. And, yeah, Ron Simmons. You gonna double book their feud? Yeah, they they have one match and one appearance. This is a fight. Uh, since I have the time, what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave that at the open. That's gonna be how we start the pre-show. Then you're gonna take their singles match. And you're gonna scroll it right after them. See. They fight their way into the ring. Okay. Um, fighting Austin and Alundra Blaze along the way. Um, okay, and that's four segments. That's all the segments I can have. I've got all my titles on there. Cool. I don't want to blow anything off yet because nothing's near stale enough. Um, so, if you will uh, do me the solid, and I'm going to add uh, sort by fatigue for me. Hover over Hogan. No, I'm just checking. You wanted the yeah. high fatigue, I assume. Everyone down here is zero. Good, okay. And, <clears throat> yeah, no one's anywhere that I give a shit about. Great. Um, okay. So, that's excellent. That's excellent. That's wondrous. Um, go to tag match. Just really eating up the, <laughs> the ability to breathe, aren't you? Um, just, mm, it's delicious. It's delicious. I have to say it's delicious. Um, and then go to, uh, type, uh, question mark versus question mark. Okay. Uh, all right. And one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. Scroll down. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Scroll down. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty people. Great. Cool. Uh, you're gonna do me a favor. You're gonna go ten. Uh, sorry, in the fill-in fields. Oh. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna put ten. Uh, versus ten. Uh, and then you're going to start from the bottom and click your way up the card. Okay. If this works, I have to say, it's disgusting. We're going to find out together. Great. Okay. Hit book. Great. This is the Blizzard match. It's going to be the it's going to be the match on the pre-show um, after Ron Simmons and Bradshaw, right before the analyst desk, if you don't mind. Uh, yep, there we go. Um, and that's that's the Blizzard match. It's everyone who's not booked uh, in a big clusterfuck ten-man tag team match uh, for let's say ten thousand dollars. Oh wow, that's a lot of money <laughs> in 1990s money. Yep. Uh, that's a thousand bucks each. For those of you at home doing the math. Um, and I think I'm happy with the card, but I want to see... No one's fatigued, really. Let's let's add a gimmick to one of these matches. Uh, go up, I want to see if there's an event effect. No mm -hmm. event effect. Uh, then... 
KG Mudo versus Bret Hart deserves the gimmick match more. So we're going to add a gimmick. Uh, these guys have been fighting and... and uh, no, not a brawn panties match. No, no, no. It's going to be a street fight. Oh, okay. I, mean, I think that's dumb, but... Well, you're not booking. I will be. In a second. I think I'm happy. All right, you ready to play your event? Let's do it. Okay. What I forget? Uh, it's more fun if I don't tell you. I forgot something. Yeah. Uh, fight's good though. Look at that. Look at those stars. That's pretty good. I, he's 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 smug because I did this to him earlier. Uh, you also forgot it last week. So oh, the pro. Fine. Oh, are you talking about the producers? Mm-hmm. No, that's fine. I'm fine with that. Yeah. It's a bit of a die roll in itself. Yeah. <clears throat> so who's winning between Ronnie and Bradshaw? Uh, I believe Ron won their last match. If you could check that for me. Yes. Mm-hmm. So Bradshaw this one. All right, Bradshaw. Ooh, they Ooh. stunk it up. Ooh. They don't have good. They don't have good yeah, chemistry. That's yeah, average. That's fine. They didn't get any lightning yeah, bolts. It did nothing and added over. It added staleness. They got lightning bolts here. Yeah. Okay. What the fuck is going on here? Um, s- hover over team one. Sure. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Scroll down. I want to see their overness. It's fifty-four. Okay. Uh, hover over team two. Sixty. Uh, that's the one with Rodney in it and Steve Austin and all the guys I want to put over. So they're winning. Okay. Great four-star match. should not have. Delicious. Wonderful. We love it. We love it. We're taking these wins. We're taking these wins. Disgusting. Uh, Okay, great. Well, good for them on getting all that money. Yep. Thousand bucks each. Uh, The analyst desk. Uh, Many of these guys who just fought each other in a blizzard match. Yep. <laughs> He's so mad. Oh, uh, I'm just disgusted. Oh, all. and the house show recap does wonders. Wow. Everyone goes up and over. Everyone in it gets over in his points. You love to see it. Wow, that's that's effective. You affected it. All right, Booker T, keep this train on rolling. A wow. pretty good one. He got a little overness. He got over again. He, got he over. lost his overness earlier. He got it back. Yeah. He oh, win. that was a hot segment. Yeah. That's what happened. That's what happens when that does a hot segment. So be prepared Jeez, for that when your merchandising uh, does like well. Like I said, what, you, you had in, your own version of I this. Do, I do. Uh, you, you saw and you went, yes, oh, proper villains are winning. I'm changing no titles. In your house, Great White North is Battle of the Belts, friends. Uh-huh. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Feline Consortium and Big Sharks, what's their current record? They're both 0-1 the somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I love the I love the Brick Sharks, but Feline Consortium is the better. One of them has Juice and Liger in it. <laughs> they win. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, we're changing no titles. So Brad, no KG's the winner. Yes, KG is winning. Um, Whoa! There's your first. Well, five that and is a nearly. Half, that is five and a half. Oh my God! Wow. Melts, melts absurd. Melts lost in the sauce. You just uh, created a young Dax Harwood, I think. Yeah. Uh, and then Ric Flair beats Hogan again. And he'll keep fucking Solid doing it. <laughs> you got a four and a half star show. Nice. Bucks. Good show. Good show. I'm very happy. Okay. All right. You uh, you got hot? Yeah. You almost got hot. Where's my rep bar? Uh, Down here. Oh. Oh. Okay. All green. All green. Good stuff. How show recap got silver. Wow. Yeah. That was fast. Oh, it's going to go fast. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Uh, you I got a mail. I have mail about an artifact. Roulette. I don't know if I'm going to use that, but it's good to know. Um, you know, I'm going to write that down, actually. This this will be... I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the next episodes of this because it'll be... Um, quicker and it it has a good it has a good uh rhythm to it the two quick shows and then the the expansive pay-per-view booking okay oh he's making the title he's gonna yeah. debut it at the pay-per-view yeah, at halloween that. havoc is it gonna be spooky you know what oh no not not that let's uh do <laughs> okay. that. you know what not that uh make it a little darker yeah. <gasps> ladies and gentlemen it's spooky. <laughs> you know, you know how I love the spooky. 
You know how I'm a big fan of the spooky. You know, actually, I don't know that I like that center plate. Oh, yeah, sure. Just fuck me up. That's cool. That's what I <laughs> just... Fuck, there's one with a ghost. We gotta. <laughs> Ass one. I didn't know there was one that was just butt cheeks. Uh... <laughs> Back, back to my purple there. Side plates. Um, no, I like all the jemmies. Let's do lots of jemmies. Uh, center gems. Bam. Side gems. Bam. Delightful eye searing neon green. <clears throat> this is the Havoc Championship. We'll call it upper mid card. That's fine. Uh, does that change the price to make it for jabronis? No. No, I do. I it probably think. does, but like I don't know what it is. Singles division's fine. Pronoun that doesn't matter. But uh, graphic. I think the pronoun thing only does only affects how the auto booker does things, Maybe. and we're not going to be using that. Not going to align a champion. Uh, gimmick match only, so I don't forget any, and we don't have a brand. So the oh can only be defended in gimmick matches. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. So to the book. Um, obviously. HBK versus Got a, Randy Savage. Uh, what happened there? Why is the title not on the line? Okay, uh, this is funny, but I'm just going to help you uh, click the thing, book it. Edit, select title, just select it. Hit confirm. Sometimes it does that. I don't know why. I have, in all my years of playing this game, and I can say that because it has been, I've never seen that happen. Yeah, sometimes it does it that. Always. Maybe it's because there's a vacated title. So you know what? Let's go ahead and do that match. Um, we're going to make this a Fatal 4-Way gimmick. This is Halloween Havoc. We need something, something good. <gasps> it's right uh, there. Cost 30 creative points. That's pretty cheap. But I have William Regal. Oh, what? War Games? No, I'm alright. Um, not yet, anyway. We got World War Three too. Texas Death? That's pretty hot. I'm only busting out Texas Death for a feud I'm invested in. Let's just do a street fight. Just a regular street fight's fine. We'll get it over. Okay. Guys in this match. Raven. Okay. Got a little bit of Cactus Jack, all right? We're going to have the Sandman, okay? And uh, there's probably a fourth guy we could throw in here who's pretty hardcore. Who do I have that's pretty hardcore? Turns out nobody. I guess it's a triple threat. I forgot to add the title. That's fine. Confirmed. Okay. Um, Tony Atlas versus Jeff Jarrett running that as well. Uh Yuji Nagata, Razor Ramon, running that as well. Eddie Guerrero, Two Cold Scorpio, continuing with that. He is not wanting to put any of my titles on. That is so... I honestly think it is because of the vacant title, and it's probably going to keep happening until the title's not vacant anymore. Yeah. Oh, well. At least... Let's go ahead and throw a tag match on there. Hammer Enforcement. Hey, that one did it. Because that can't be for the heavy right. title. Okay. Segment. Uh, just going to do Production. We're going to do an event package. No, not event. We're going to do a main event package. That's what I want. We are going to do a video package with a producer because it doesn't matter. Uh, for the Renegade. I'm dumb. You know what else I forgot to do is train his work rate. Uh, hey, you know what? It ma doesn't matter because you did it before your pay-per-view, so it'll act as if you've been doing it the whole month. Is that how that works? Only matters what happens when the month turns over. Wow, how about that? At least in my experience. So, right before the paper, <laughs> is actually a grand time to do this sort of thing. Um, and let's get Sandman as well. Um, he needs better work rate, in case he's ever not over. Okay, back to... The book. What the hell was I doing? Promos. Uh... I want a promo for factions. Million Dollar Mafia. No, 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 no. Actually, let's do Ted DiBiase manager promo. Um, he's going to go for Dan Severn. 
throw a producer on that. Doris is fine. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Let's just call it a spirited promo. Nope. Oh, what is Harry doing? Oh, I see. Mr. Garrett is who we need. There we go. Okay. All right. Um, that's all the promos. Uh, let's get the main event package right before the main event. Video package on the Renegade, that's fine. Dan Severn's going to go after that. Um, you know what, actually, let's put that there. No reason. This can go here. That's fine. It doesn't really matter. All right. Let's do some pre-show stuff. I forgot my merchandise. You know what? Let's take Sting out of things. I I'd rather do my merchandise this month. Sting's injured anyhow. Definitely for real injured. Definitely. For real. For really real. Injured for real. Definitely. You know what? We did Sean last time. Let's do Randy this time. Razor is up against Nagata, right? He's not in this, right? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do Glenn Locke. He loves Shill that merch. Money. He does love money. But, okay. Allow me to explain to you the inherent virtue of consensual financial transactions. <laughs> Do I have anybody fatigued? Rick Steiner's a little bit. John Tenta's a little bit. Dan's a little bit. Kawada's okay. All right. Um, Paul Roma's part of the new batch. Oh, that's why they're neutral, because they got a face and a heel. I'm fine with that. Um... But with Rick Steiner kind of tired, let's actually do Paul Roma versus Leilani Kai. Okay, I'm going to have Leilani Kai go over there. Well, there you go. Um, let's get... We've been meaning to get Just Business a win. Do it over the Diamond Dogs. Okay. You know, I don't think I need to fill up on segments. I might be okay. Well, there you go. I normally don't, if you've noticed. Um, but then again, I'm losing. So, do you want to take my advice? Do I have another three-star work rate? I don't think so, because of how our thing goes. Yeah, there's very, they're very limited. So let's do Owen Hart against... Who is that face here? Oh, Johnny Eagle. Uh, Kawada. Cool. Um, sounds good. Okay, I'm gonna run this. There uh, you go. No blow offs. All titles on the line. That's a street fight. No new feuds. Let's roll. What is this? Oh, because I made the championship. I got 200 bucks. Cool. Okay. You have basically the money you spent on the championship back? More or less, yeah. Let's play the event. Let's do this. Okay. Kawada's going to win over Owen Hart. Makes sense to me. This is just warming up the crowd. Just Business is going to get a win over the Diamond Dogs. Hey, that did pretty well. Yeah. Uh, Leilani Kai is going to get a no win. no Blizzard match, but it did pretty well. You're a Blizzard match. <laughs> Merchandising. See? Oh, Do you see? Oh my God! Oh, that's, that's what mean. happens when you get a when you get a hot segment. That's nasty. That's bad. Uh, hammer enforcement get a victory. Oh, it's a hot match. Of course it was. Look at this. Look at this. My God, dude. We're booking some. I, we're booking some major shtick. I want to actually watch that <laughs> with my eyes from that time period, not now. I'm not even sure all those guys are alive now. I think they are. There we go. DiBiase talking about how great Dan Severn is. Look at how good he's oh doing. My. He's going to win again, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to win again. All right. 
Um, he's going to be like, oh, you're going to beat me, you're going to beat me, you're going to beat me. And then what's going to happen? He's going to destroy me like I've always assumed. You know what? I, I'll, I'll take it. It's, it is what it is. At least you could be safe in the knowledge that I probably won't just give you low star rate guys. I'll give you shitty guys. <laughs> um, force you to make hay out of bad stuff. Uh, all right. Eddie Guerrero uh, is retaining his title. It's not time to switch it yet. Um, I hope that did some morale boost to, to Cold Scorpio. He's kind of upset. Love the Renegade. He deserved better. Thank you. It focused on prominent people praising the Renegade. Like me. Yeah. Just you fully in the screen. Just, just Love him. Um, I think morale's pretty good. How are you doing? Eugene? Eugene needs he needs to get over, you know? Um, you want him over? I want him over, so he's got to get some wins. Use his super strong machine justice against Razor Ramon. Uh, Jeff Jarrett. See, this is where things happen. I'm going to take, uh, take a risk here. Mm. Going to be some cheating. Jeff Jarrett's going to win. We lost half a star for it, and that's okay. And it's the price you pay. It is the price you pay. Uh, inaugural... 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 I don't know words anymore. I mean, this is an hour and a half long episode of Jow. It right? is. It is. Um, it's going to be better if we have a face champion, so I'm going to go with Sandman. That was a pretty good call. Yeah. Main event package... Nice. Everyone loved it. Everyone loved it. All right. Look how hot HBK is. Uh, this is just a regular match. Nothing crazy. I think HBK wins. Um, I'm not booking it this way because I don't want to get the penalty for it. But I think my guy's got his foot on the ropes. Did for the leverage. Ref doesn't see it. Randy knows. You know what? I would be like, no, you got to take the penalty. But uh, you did it. You took the penalty on a different show, so that's fair. Yeah, it's what you wanted. That's what you wanted. And you got it. Um, oh, four and a half star half show. Nice. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. You got another holy shit moment. What happened? No more joke. What happened? Oh, I probably had a backstage thing. Oh, Dan Severin's mad. Dan oh, Severin no, gets mad. That's he what he does. does. He's such a diva. Oh, you lost some rep. No, you lost some rep. Oh, you, oh that means you won. Oh, my United States title lost some rep, though, because of the cheating. Yeah. Uh, okay, well. Yeah, you won. That's a spoiler, ladies and gentlemen. That's yeah. how that works. Not as bad as last week, though. Not as bad No, as but you're 300,000 buy rate up on me. Oh, man. Well, that's what WCW was doing back then. Yep. Uh, Sting has recovered from his definite real injury that he had that was real? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, here it is. Dan Severn told Arn Anderson about a crazy stalker messaging and calling him, so one day Arn Anderson got the number of the stalker through Dan Severn's phone and sent a text declaring his feelings and asking to meet. They were all sitting in the bar after the show and the stalker came. Dan Severn started panicking as the stalker sat next to them with a huge smile. It was funny until the stalker threatened Dan Severn when he said he didn't want to leave together, but it was too late and Arn Anderson couldn't do anything about it. They all somehow managed to escape through the back door and leave the stalker behind. Uh, they invented texting early. Also, we kept saying this is 1996. This is 1995. Uh, great match, classic match. In your house, great, great white north goes beyond the hype. Booker T is over again. Mudo versus Bret Hart was insane. Fantastic match. Hogan and Ric Flair. Good stuff. Good stuff. Kawada wants to be in the main event. I can do that. Note, boys. I got actual notes over here. Thanks for listening. I think uh, we're done here, yeah? No, uh, Well, we usually check our mail after that's the pay-per-view. That's fair. Um, I'll go into... Oh, we can recruit Jake. We can recruit Rick Rude. Uh, Yuji Nagata had a bad day. El Puerto Riqueño has arrived on the Indies. Not a huge fan. Abyss has arrived on the Indies. Abyss always disappoints me on here. China's on the Indies. Albert is on the Indies. The Ultimate Solution is on the Indies. Uh, and Sting. Sting. Sting's back. Uh, what's going on with you? Bret Hart well, doesn't want to take a clean loss. His character needs to be protected. I think I see what uh, Mudo is mad about. Uh, 
Brett, can you think of anything else, bud? No, you should be able to do this for me. Oh, well, then go fuck yourself. Uh, I don't think that'll work. Yeah, yeah, All go right. fuck yourself. Fully eat a dick. <laughs> God, so Bret Hart. Um, Jushin Liger wants a manager. I don't have any managers. You got anything else, bud? Okay. He wants a title. Yeah, that I can do. Okay. He's touched. I get so many requests. You got so many requests. Uh, Muto would like to lose to somebody. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, asking to lose is always easier to asking to win. Yeah. All right. Your other male. Twenty uh, percent. Oh, he's not that mad. Bad. He's mad. He's a pissy little piss baby. And Matt Hardy got some popularity at the training roster. Good for him. All right, so this was the first episode. It was a little long, but that's what you wanted. This is what you wanted.